hi guys very good evening uh, welcome to the video number 241 and uh, in this video we are going to explore a mod function in excel i'm not sure whether you heard about it but uh, indeed it's a very great function and you should know it and i'm going to tell you tell you that how important it is and we are going to discuss each and everything about this mod function today right and uh, i'm going to upload this video i received a request actually from isha and uh, this is what actually she has written uh, i'm your big fan and i don't leave any of your videos super cool videos uh, could you let me know what is a mod function and one example on this please thank you very much regards isha sandhe well uh, thank you so much for such a <laughs> such a short and meaningful email um, and uh, i i'm glad that uh, you're watching my all the videos and uh, let me know in case if you have any issues in fact uh, you know uh, you all are watching uh, this video right now guys so i just want to request you any point in time you think that there is anything which i missed or maybe i want to upload it please go ahead and leave your comments you can also email me i mean i have my email also and otherwise you can directly you know leave the comments on the channel as well right so uh, before we start with this uh, i want to tell you because i think uh, uh, isha didn't actually uh, see that uh, we also have created so many playlists here so many categories on the excel excel vba ms access and ms access vba right and that is why i always start my videos by introducing you to this channel because we have after all uploaded 240 videos including this one right so indeed it's a great achievement and we have also completed by the way 500 subscribers just i think last week so thank you so much thank you so much for your great support really it means a lot to me thank you so much now uh, here i have uploaded actually a video which is um, uh, you know on this mod function if you have a look on this so I, as i said i'm trying to cover all the subjects right so i don't want to sound like somebody you know uh, a channel who doesn't have the uh, you know the topics uh, which I mean, you know, the entire world is covering, but I'm not covering and they are so important. So I'm trying actually to cover all the things, guys. Okay. So this is a video number 111. Long time back, I think maybe last year I've recorded this. Please go ahead and watch this. I still remember this is one of my favorite videos. And I have said this in the this video also. And you when you will watch it, you will definitely be with me. It's not that I want you to just, you know, go. Uh, I want you to go and see this video. No, it is not that. Because somebody emailed me, I remember and that question was very tricky and we use this mod function they are using a function wonderful I enjoyed that video all right so in this video definitely we are going to start with the basic idea of the mod function what is the mod function actually that's what exactly I want to tell you now okay so uh, now you see that uh, basically mod function we use it um, when we want to find the remainder when you divide the two things and whatever the remainder comes you are interested in that right now for example if i have a uh, one number two and one number two uh, one number four and one number two and uh, if i simply divide these numbers four by two then obviously anyone can say that you know the answer would be zero right so uh i, I beg your pardon not, not zero because uh, two by two makes it you know four so you will get the quotient basically right so the quotient is going to come here as your two okay and similarly if i divide this four by four then what will be the answer the answer will be one right because that is going to be the quotient four multiplied by one will make it you know your this quotient will be one that is a this is the number basically when you multiply with this this you will get but the mod function is actually to uh to get the remainder okay not the quotient value but the remainder value let me show you how now the same thing if i uh, let's say right here mod this this is how you write right you have two parameters one is the number and the second parameter is called the divisor divisor means that uh, what is that number from which you want to divide it right now number is obviously the number which is actually your numerator right so four by you write you comma put the comma and you see that divisor is now highlighted now once the divisor is highlighted you just need to select the cell from which you want to divide it so i'm going to say that this should be d6 by e6 so four by four now you know if you if you press enter you will not go uh, you will not get one here if you if you're thinking because that is not going to be the remainder if you divide four by four what will happen the remainder will be zero right so this is why we use the mod function right so if i write here two 
let's say so 4 by 2 is going to give you what this should be 2 but this would again remain as 0 why because 2 you know 4 is going to be completely divisible by 4 and you know that right so 2 by 2 multiply by 4 that is the quotient and this is called the remainder so i'm not going to talk uh, talk about this uh, this particular thing but that's that's a simple you know division you're doing but this is your called the mod function this is how you use the mod function it simply returns the remainder that's it okay and this is a very useful uh, function you can use it in condition formatting you can if you go ahead and watch this video video number uh, you know this uh, triple one then you would understand that it actually is very amazing function right but i can give you a sort of two examples here now for example uh, let's um, let's do one thing uh, now let me uh, write here a function called now I hope you know that now actually it returns the date and the time of your machine the current time so this video i'm today you know recording and this is called the 19th of october right and uh, this is your time basically 7 18 pm right now when we are recording this right now what if you want to actually separate the date and the time here so let's say i want to extract the time from this which means that i want to actually get the 1918 from this so how you can do that so guys look at this if i'm going to apply the mod function here and i say that this is my number and i want to divide it it uh, i want to divide it by one right so the moment you press enter you see that your date is going to be nothing it says 0 january 1900 century which in excel means zero and the time is coming here so if you just go ahead and right click right click you know and the format cells and you just go here and say that i just need the time you just change the formatting here look at this now guys there is no date coming here so date is completely removed so mod is also very uh, useful function because a lot of times you know we guys when we work on the mis when we make the charts and the pivots you know when you do anything analytical you know no, normally uh, most of the time you are always uh, dealing with the dates and most of the times when you deal with the dates you also have the time slot so if you ever stuck in this situation where you have a combination of date and time and you just want to you know get the time you just want to extract the time then please use this mod function and this one is going to be used as a divisor right now i'm not going to leave you like just like that because i know you must be uh, thinking a lot that why i'm actually divided it by one and why the mod function what it is doing so guys what happens i'll give you the short idea uh, because this video is all about the mod this video is not actually about the date and the time right so but still i'll give you i'll, I'll try to answer this now what happens actually the dates are stored as numbers and the time is also stored as a number the only difference is dates are the whole numbers and the time you know they are stored in the x in the back on as decimal numbers for example if i simply write here uh, 2 hours 30 minutes for example right and if i go equals to and i just use this equals to sign and now i right click and I go to the format cells and i change this to general you see that there is a decimal number which is generated right now how this decimal has come that's a different or you know story that we can discuss in any of the other date and time videos but you need to understand that time is stored as a number a decimal number right now if you enter the date today let's say today date is 19th of october the same thing i'm going to do i'm going to press equals to here and i just press enter and then right click and i go to the format cells and i change this to general and you see that this is a number which is generated now this is not a random number this is a specific number which will always be there if you if you write on your this system this date and you go ahead equals to and you know change it to general you will get the same date you will get the same number i beg your pardon right so this is a number which is allocated to this date right so these are all the numbers the only difference is basically this is a decimal number and this is a whole number but ultimately you have a combination of um, a you know a number uh, you you have a combination of whole number and a decimal because here we are we are talking about a date and time both right so if you press equals to here what what will you see if you go to the format cells and just click on the general tab you see that you have a number whole number as well as a decimal number so 42662 this is the 42662 this represents actually my date part and the rest of the part which is after the decimal 0 0.80657 this refers to the 1921 okay 721 21 am right so this decimal part and this uh, basically the whole number when it comes together it looks like a decimal number right so mod actually does what now you know that if i give you simple one task let me ask you one question guys i i write here 10 and i write here 1 okay and i say that if you divide this number 
what will be the remainder if you divide 10 by 1 what will be the remainder so that is why i'm using the mod function i can't simply say that 10 by 1 because you know that that is going to give me the you know something else i'm looking for the remainder i'm not looking for the quotient right so if i divide this number by this what will be the remainder can you can you can you make any guess if you press enter you would see zero why because it's a whole number and whenever you divide anything with the one your remainder will always come to zero you can change it this to 55 and your answer will still be you know zero because one is the only number right if you're a math student in fact i mean this is a very basic thing in maths also right uh, just trying to in in case just you're not able to understand just trying to you know uh, revise it for you uh, if, if you write here anything maybe 1000 now what happens when you divide 1000 with the one one is a number which is going to multiply you know one by thousand equals to thousand and the remainder is going to be zero and that is what exactly we are looking forward that is what exactly you know this is the basically that idea on which we are trying to extract this time now let's say if i add here let's say i add here a number called 7.5 now you know that 7.5 is not a uh, whole number right it is a decimal number so what happens when you divide 7.5 with the one the seven which is a whole number is going to be completely divisible so that means that one into seven equals to seven and then 7.5 minus seven will make it what the remainder would come as 0.5 so you see whenever you want to in other words you can say whenever you have a decimal number and you want to extract the decimal number you can use the mod number you can use the mod function and you can use this divisor as one always because what happens the decimal will remain there because decimal is not going to be divisible but the whole number is going to be completely divisible and that is the trick actually people use this you know while extracting this time from this date and time format they don't know about it but they are just told by their you know colleagues or seniors people generally like to hide the things and <laughs> which i really don't like it so you know that is actually the science behind this that is you know what is happening behind the curtains this number actually combination of date and time actually is what in excel it is stored as a this combination of whole and decimal number so you can see that it looks like a decimal number but when i'm going to divide this number now look at this if i simply write here mod I am not now going to select this cell let me select this cell d2 and i'm going to divide it by one now you know that what would be the answer right four to six six two whole number is completely going to be divisible but what left is your decimal number and this decimal number it's itself is your time format right so if you right now just go ahead and go to the format cells and you're just going to you know keep it here this time format you would see the same answer look at this guys isn't it amazing right so that is the use of the mod function uh, one of the uses right one of the uses i have told you what else we can think of uh, of the mod function now it is also used in the condition formatting a lot for example i remember some a long time back you know some um, one of my student actually asked me he was having this kind of a requirement that every alternate row has to be in a green color this is what exactly he was looking forward to so he wanted to use it i mean he wanted to give the color so i said that let's use the condition formatting and let's use the mod function there okay so what is my idea now let's say, suppose this is your table let me just put the border here okay now this is your table and in this table you want that the second row should be green every alternate row for example this and then this and then this automatic right you don't have to basically do this uh, by you know giving them the color manually right so what we want to do is uh, we can use the mod function we can say that if the row number of this and if we divide it by two because any even number if you divide it by two you know it always gives you the remainder zero i hope you agree with that right any number if gets divided by two it gives zero as remainder right and that is what exactly we're going to do here so i want to capture the row number of this so there is a row function also i have used it a lot this row function in the arrays and also i have a video on this row functions right row means that uh, wherever you're writing this formula you can see that i'm not using any parentheses here i mean i'm not using any sorry in the within the parentheses any cell so that means that i'm if i just press enter i will be going to get the row number of my active cell where i'm using this formula so you will get the one here right so that is why again if i press row number you will get the two here because i'm on the row number two so similarly if you drag this formula what will happen you will be able to generate one two three four five six seven eight nine right and this is what exactly i'm going to do i'm simply going to divide these row numbers 
by 2 and wherever it comes as 0 that means that you know that number is even so that is what exactly the catch right so you can see here that I want to basically color my all the one all the one values or the zero values whatever if you want to go like one three five combination then you use one if you want to go like two and then uh, four and then you know six then you can use the zero condition right so how to give the color this how, how we can give this uh, give this a color right so uh, what we can do is um, I can select the cell entire cell uh, or maybe if you want let's say the entire row let me first delete this every step everything here so I'm going to delete this so I'm going to apply the conditional formatting let's say on uh, B to E this is your table basically let's say right so just select the table and go to the conditional formatting and click on the new rule okay I'm using 2016 guys and it is um, same as in 2013 and 10 also and 7 also right click on the this um, new rule and use this user formula so what I'm going to say is mod mod or what divide it or I can start like this row row of this cell which is b1 okay and divided by 2 so we have to write the mod function here basically mod so I start like this so if the answer is going to be 0 then what exactly you want to do go to the format and let's say let, let's give it a color okay so this is the let's say I'm going to choose this color or maybe you can also fill some effect here just to make it make it you know uh, more presentable uh, it would look great uh, with this kind of a combination you can also choose these different kinds of you know diagonal up and diagonal down whatever you want to do that anyways that's not the topic so now I press ok now one thing you need to do uh, because you have freeze this B1 so what will happen the entire these rows are going to be uh, they are going to work based on the value in the b1 but ideally you do not want that you you want that the when you know for this particular line it should work based on the row number one and for this next line it should be the row number two and here we should have a row number three and four and you know so on so we are going to remove the dollar sign that's a very basic excel concept so that when you press ok the formula should automatically you know changes to b2 b3 b4 and so on okay so let's just go ahead and press ok and there we go you see that so here now the you know you can't change this color if you if you want to let's say give it a yeah, any other color you can't do that it's a proper conditional formatting guys okay and if I just go ahead and let's say um, I'm, I'm just going to copy this and um, I'm going to let's say I want to implement this in this table now I press alt e s or you can also go to the paste under this home tab and here you have a paste special you can click here paste special and I say format look at this it is going to be formatted right so this is again a conditional formatting right so if I try to bring any other color you can see that it is not going to do that and if you think that you can remove the color no you cannot do that you have to delete the conditional formatting so using this thing also uh, let me just show you the formula again this is the formula actually basically I'm saying edit rules so it simply says that divide the row number of b10 by 2 right now it says b10 because uh, I think uh, uh, we have selected the you know b10 cell but basically what is happening your cells are moving right so everywhere you see that here it is checking with the b1 the row number of the b1 here it is checking with the row number of b2 b3 b4 and everywhere it is dividing the number with the 2 because 2 is a number you know for every alternate even row actually you know you're going to give the uh, this zero value right if you want to make it one three and so on so what you need to do is you just go here and just do the manage rules and uh, by the way let me just delete this rule again and uh, we're going to edit this and uh, now here you can see that um, uh, if it is equals to uh, if it is not equals to zero let's say so for every even row obviously it is not going to be zero right so now let me press ok apply and there we go guys you see that now it is actually 11 and then 13 and then 15 okay so uh, we can do one thing uh, I am why it is not working in this uh, particular range we have to see that let's go ahead and uh, clear the rules first of all every condition formatting is gone and uh, this is no fail all right now what we want to do let's say one and three and this is what exactly we want to do so uh, basically if I say that I'm on this cell let's say row number 
okay so you know that i will be getting this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now if i divide this number by two my remainder will be something it will not be zero for sure okay i beg your pardon it should be like this divisor okay and uh, now let's just go ahead and create this all right so this is what exactly happens so you see that for any uh, other number it says one right uh, because uh, on dividing it with the two if you divide it by five by two your remainder would come as one if you divide any odd number it's very clear that for any odd number if you are going to divide it by two we will get the remainder one so this thing we can use this very cleverly here i just go ahead new rule and i write the same function here equals to i'm going to write a mod and the row number of the cell i select the cell and uh, if i divide it by two and if the value is equals to one okay don't forget to remove this dollar sign to make it dynamic and uh, let's say we're going to give this yellow color maybe let's just press ok and there we go you see that now this one three and five you know these colors are getting highlighted so this is the mod function guys uh, i hope i was able to do justice with this mod function with this video anything you didn't understand you can definitely write your comment thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that and watch all those amazing 240 videos on excel excel vba access and access vba thank you so much and i'll see you soon bye bye